Mr. Graham, um, a lot of people are still asking. They want to know questions about spring events, graduation. We have some seniors on our panel today. Um, anything you can share on spring events, graduations with our community? Yes, as you're aware, we did cancel all events for the month of April. Um, but as we move into to May, uh, we are continuing to to receive guidance from our government officials and our health uh, officials on what school could look like in May. Uh, and so at this point, we have not canceled any, any May events, um, but we are constantly looking at uh, every option if events do uh, do get canceled uh, um, in May. I met with the high school principals today to specifically talk about graduation and other events that impact our seniors. And we are working uh, to create plans that we'll be able to hopefully share uh, in the near future on what graduation could look like if we are not, to, uh, not able to, to hold that ceremony in May. But it is a, a very important to all of us uh, that we find some type of way to celebrate our seniors and, and to ensure that they have opportunities to receive the recognition that they, they have earned over the last uh, 13 years of school. And, and so it is something important to us, and we are working on what, the, what graduation could look like if, if we do have a disruption uh, into the month of May. Uh, but no, it is important to us, and we are working. Uh, we have two more meetings scheduled next week, uh, as, as principals and myself to work on this and, and it is important to us and our seniors are at the forefront of every conversation we have because we want to make sure we are are, are doing everything we can to to honor them so know that uh, as of now no m events in May have been canceled uh, but if that does occur we are working on plans to move forward so we can still honor our graduates at some point in some type of way. Thank you for sharing that, John. I know it's in the hearts and minds of so many kids and so many families and so many students. And, and when our principals are working hard on Monday on our day off, it was like 5.30, I was taking a walk with my son, Chris Simpson, literally Principal Lander High School, running through my neighborhood on the phone, talking about work. He can't even take a break to, to get his run in these days. Superintendent, Dr. Gearing, I think, do you want to, can you join us now and give a little message to, to start us off before I, I feed you a couple questions? Hi to everybody, and I apologize for my technical difficulties. Uh, to put it in perspective, I was talking to my teenagers this afternoon about my first computer, which had a 40 megabyte hard drive and a 12 inch floppy disk drive, and it could probably have handled about one second of this video conference that's happening right now. And uh, there was no thought of Facebook Live or anything like that. As I was reflecting this week, uh, a little over three weeks ago, the week before spring break, we had 41,300 odd students and about 5,000 staff members physically in our buildings doing the work of public school in the great state of Texas. And within a week's time over spring break, we pivoted 180 degrees, and now we have 41,300-odd kids and 5,000 staff members working remotely from their houses in isolation in order to stay safe and stay healthy and stay well. Um, and as I think about that, that pivot is just incredible. And so I, I have to just say how amazed I am at the ability of our employees, of our kids, and our families to not only physically and technologically um, make that shift, but also mentally, because this really is a different world that we're living in today than it was just three weeks ago. And with the, the future being so uncertain, um, I, I really just want to reach out to people and say, you know, it, it feels a little surreal to me. I'm sure it does to you too. And know that we're in this together that Leander ISD is a huge organization, and that means we have a lot of resources. We are a human capacity organization, and that means we rely on connection. And while we have somewhat of a connection, 
I'm really looking forward to the day that we're able to be back physically in the same spaces together again. And so with that, Corey, I'll turn it back to you.